Good morning, Internet. January 9th, day 9. We're about to break 176 hours fasted. Uh, I'm down to 142.8. I'll do the math later as far as how many total pounds that is. I'm not really, I'm not really keeping track of that. I'm just, I mean, I'm obviously keeping track of it, but it's not the goal. It's not the reason or the purpose. It's just fun to see. <laughs> so physical check-in, mental check-in, triumphs and struggles. I'm kind of bored updating you. It's really, I'm just grinding it out. I'm not hungry. The restless leg syndrome seems to have completely dissipated. Um, I've got great energy. My cognitive ability is just sharp. Um, and if you have any questions, then just go ahead and just drop them down in the comment box. I'd like to maybe just address those when I do my update. So any questions, drop them down. And we're just going to go ahead. It's a snow day, you guys. I don't want to do this. I don't want to get up and <laughs> want to go back in bed. But i got to get this done out of the way first. Otherwise, it's not going to happen. Um, but we will read from Dr. Berg's website on prolonged fasting. And I'm going to give you some facts again about the price story. Prolonged fasting can help with decreased inflammation. The drugs that promote anti-inflammatory effects are currently dominating the market. Another interesting point is that most of the money on drugs has to do with anti-inflammatories. Inflammation can cause pain in all kinds of issues with your health, from rheumatoid arthritis to diabetes and even autoimmune diseases. Prolonged fasting is an essential tool to help someone get to the root of their inflammation. Honestly, if you have any of the itises at all, like arthritis, for example, you need to try prolonged fasting. All autoimmune diseases also involve inflammation. That's why the remedy always involves taking steroids, which are anti-inflammatories. The problem with the steroid solution is that it rebounds and destroys the adrenal glands. The adrenal glands are vital to your overall mental and physical health. The way prolonged fasting affects the immune system makes it essential if you have an autoimmune disease. Dr. Berg believes that it could significantly improve these autoimmune conditions. Try prolonged fasting for anti-inflammatory support. It could be a fantastic alternative. All right, you guys ready to get into the Christ oil? Again, reading from Kelly Marie Kerr's book, Sacred Secretion. I'm going to get into the process, part three. What are the two potencies formed by the pituitary and pineal gland? So first we have the pituitary potency also known as the lunar potency, lunar germ, or lunar seed. Flowing into the pituitary CSS, CFS becomes magnetic, or female, in its quality and action. Some secret names for this potency are the oil water of life, the feeling principle, soul fluid body, silver, or milk. But what exactly is the lunar germ according to modern science? The answer is protoplasm, also known as cytoplasm and soma. Secret teachings, oh, here we go. This lunar fluid is present in every cell of the body. In the secret teachings of all ages, Manly P. Hall explains that protoplasm is not only the structural unit with which all living cells start life, but with which they are subsequently built up. Second, we have the pineal potency, also known as the solar potency, solar germ, or solar seed. Flowing into the pineal CSF becomes electric or male in its quality and action. Some secret names for this potency are fire of life, the thinking principle, spirit fire body, gold, or honey. But what exactly is the solar germ according to modern science? According to the majority of experts on this subject, the answer is nitrogen, previously known as the alchemist fire of life or Kundalini. Nitrogen has seven protons, seven neutrons, and seven electrons. And it forms minerals or cell salts in the body. Without nitrogen, cells cannot be generated. Dr. Carey's opinion of the nature of the solar pineal potency is slightly different. He stated that the solar germ is electrons, of which nitrogen has seven. Of course, electrons combine to form atoms such as nitrogen. The other predominant source of electrons or life energy in the body is phosphorus, previously known as the alchemist light of light. Interestingly, phosphorus is part of the nitrogen family and also forms minerals, cell salts, that generate cells in the body. 
To summarize, the pituitary potency is protoplasm, also known as cytoplasm and soma, and the pineal potency is electrons, predominantly making, taking form as nitrogen, fire, and phosphorus, light atoms, which subsequently forge minerals, the cell salts that build the cells in the body. Isn't this stuff fascinating? It's amazing. So, I hope you learned something today. I love you. God loves you. Be blessed.